Guys, one of my subscriber asked this question to me today, and question is this: When we are clicking on YouTube application, or when we are typing www.youtube.com in the browser, what will be the destination IP address in the packet? And the second scenario, this is first scenario. Second scenario, when we are clicking on a particular video on YouTube application, then what will be the destination IP address? Right. So, guys. If you are asking this question, that means concept of routing and switching is not clear to you, right? Definitely you should learn routing and switching. Okay, let me tell you the answer. What should be the possible answer of this question? Guys, again, I am not challenging your answer. Within my capacity, within my experience, just I am going to share my answer. As you are my subscriber, so you asked a question to me. Now it's become my responsibility to share answer with you. So, see. When you are typing www.youtube.com in the browser, maybe your machine have already IP address of YouTube server, right? In case if your machine don't have IP address in the cache, right? So your machine will look up for DNS server, and your machine will resolve multiple IP addresses for YouTube server because of load balancing, right? Okay, let's suppose your machine have one IP address or it have resolved one IP address. That it is going to use to send packet to YouTube server, right? So destination IP address will be the IP address of YouTube server. Now the second scenario is when we are clicking on video, then what will be the destination IP address? So if you are clicking on the video, guys, again you are hitting YouTube server, right? You are forwarding packet to YouTube server only because YouTube videos are available on YouTube server. So. If you are thinking that okay, if destination MAC will be sorry, destination IP will be again the IP address of YouTube server, then how YouTube server will, will you know identify the videos? So YouTube server will identify the videos on additional informations like your URL, right? Or it can use the external uh, additional parameters, right, to identify the videos or photos or content. See, if you want to upload a video on YouTube, correct? So what you need to do first, you need to create an account. Without account, you cannot upload anything, right, on YouTube. So if you are creating an account, let's say you have created one account with name PM Networking, right, and there you are going to upload some videos, photos, and text. So you can upload video as well, photo as well, and text as well, right. Now, YouTube will save this information, my videos, my photos, my text on their server, on their multiple servers, right, but I don't want to make you confused. So just suppose they have saved on a single server. Fine. Now, like me, there are multiple accounts on their server, right? Many people have created, a, a, you know, account on YouTube application. So YouTube have multiple account. In the account, they have stored videos, photos, and text. Okay. So let me. Till you now the complete scenario. If I am typing www.youtube.com in my browser, first of all my machine will check their cache memory to find the IP address of YouTube server. If IP address is available there, right, it will send packet to YouTube server. Correct. When you are clicking on a particular video, then also same thing will 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 happen. Right, destination IP address is going to be same in this scenario also. And the YouTube is going to check the URL, right, to identify your video, right. So you have click on a particular video. How YouTube server will identify that particular video with the help of your URL, or it can use you know additional parameters like you know let's say a server is receiving a packet, right. At layer three, it will check destination IP address. With the help of destination IP address, a server can. Identify that this packet is for me or not. Definitely, if destination IP address is IP address of server, server will accept it. Otherwise, server will discard it. Fine. So let's say destination IP address is IP address of server. So it will accept it. After that, at layer three, at network layer, it will check what guys protocol fail to identify the upper layer services. Right at transport layer. I have to hand over to which protocol TCP or UDP, right? So there will be port number, destination port number, right? So like this at network layer, how we are identifying a transport layer protocol, or at transport layer, how we identify application layer protocols, right? So we have 
a parameters right a protocol at transport layer at network layer to identify upper layer services in the same way if you are sending something to youtube server right let's say this is youtube server first at layer 3 it will check the destination ip address if it will match it will accept after that it will check you know upper layer information and with the help of upper layer information it will identify you know your particular videos so guys answer of your question is what answer is in both scenario destination ip address will be the ip address of youtube server so if you you have learned something new from this video if anything was unknown for you then guys please hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today